Hello everyone and welcome to another Design of the Week. This week I've decided to focus on breast cancer awareness because it is October. A lot of people are doing nail designs and selling products with Think Pink and support the cause. So I found out a way to do a breast cancer symbol with one of my stamps and I'm going to show you how to do that as well as how to do the pink leopard print that's on my nails. Now I did change my thumbs a little bit and I did it opposite where I've got the hot pink in the middle and then three breast cancer symbols across the middle as well as the leopard in the background. So you can do that if you like, but you don't have to. There's lots of things you can do for this cause, but I hope you do this design with me. It's lots of fun. It's very simple and I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. Okay, so the first step, you're going to paint your nail two coats of a nice hot pink. I've chosen to use the OPI color in, that's Berry Daring it's called. So do that, let it dry really well. Then for the stripe across the nail, what I did first was paint it in white and I used Alpine Snow in the OPI nail lacquer. And then I had a very light pink in the OPI brand as well and this one's called Got a Date Tonight but it's very, very light. So I wanted it to show up really good, so that's why I painted white first. So go over that a couple of times and let it dry really well. Then you're ready for the stamping process. And we're gonna do the animal print design first. I'm using plate M57, and we're gonna use the cheetah print here. But we're not gonna cover the whole design this time. We're just gonna paint half of it, because as you see, we're just gonna cover the middle of the nail here where we painted the light pink, but we don't want the extra animal print going off onto the dark pink part. So grab your stamping polish in black and we're going to paint half the design like this. Now if you've chosen to make your stripe across your nail a little smaller then adjust it accordingly as to how much you paint right on the plate there. Okay, I'm just going to scrape that across wipe on a paper towel to keep the mess down. I'm going to roll and then I'm just going to try to keep it in a straight line like that. And then I'm going to line it up on my nail like this and then just go right across. Okay. Now if you notice, I didn't quite get into the corner here and I did get a little bit on that bright pink part, but we can fix that and I'll show you how to do that. So let's clean as we go with acetone polish remover, just like that, to address the first issue, getting into the corner where you missed. All you have to do is put a little bit on your design like this, scrape across, we're going to use the small end of the double-ended stamper, okay, and then I'm just going to get in the corner there like that. Okay, we're just going to clean that. Now, this is where the corrector pens come in handy. Love these things, they're awesome. Just go in and gently take, take off what you don't want. Now, you don't want to do too hard because you will take off any polish underneath. And we don't want to have to do the whole process again because you'll be very frustrated. I've had to do that. It's not fun. Okay, so see how I'm just barely touching? And don't worry, we're going to put a stripe of silver there anyway, so you're not even going to notice if you make a mistake. Now, this is something really neat that I learned at one of the fundraisers we did uh, last month. We did Hope in the City for Cancer Research, and actually one of our customers came up to us and said, do you have a breast cancer symbol on your stamps? And I said, no, I don't. And then she saw this plate, which is M63, this design here, where it's all kind of the twirly swirls. If you take this part right here, it's exactly the breast cancer symbol. So I'm going to show you how you can modify that. So take your white stamping polish. Make sure you have no black left on your stamper because we don't want that to adhere back on the nail. And that you've also cleaned your scraper of any black because that will mess in with the white and we don't want that. So we're going to place the, the symbol down in the corner here on the hot pink part. 
and this is how we're going to do it. We're just going to paint this part right here. And I'm going to show you first, and I'm going to redo it. We're going to just, I'm going to turn it this way. Scrape across. Okay, roll on the stamper, and see how extra stuff comes up? I'll just hold it up here like this. Take it off with your thumb, and if you want your little tails to match up, you can just do that. I find it's easier to use my thumb, because if I try to go in with a corrector pen or polish remover on a Q-tip, this is already dry. And as you know, the stamping polish dries super fast. So I'm going to redo it for you, and then I'm going to line it up on my nail. So let's take that off, but that's how you do it. And you can modify any stamp design that you have this way. You can pick parts of it and do it in different colors and change how it looks. It's great. So let me just clean off my plate here. So go in with your white polish, put it on the part of the design that you would like, scrape across, try to roll as close to the image as you can so you don't have a lot to take off, and then get it on the nail quickly because it does dry fast. There you go. Okay, so if everyone can see that, we have our breast cancer symbol. What a great idea. Thank you to the customer that pointed this out to us. Very smart idea. Now for some extra things you can add into your design. If you notice, my cheetah print has got pink in the middle of the black that I stamped. I use my great Miji pen for that in pink. When you're using your Miji pen, I've said this before, make sure you squeeze it out on a paper towel first to get it started so you don't get an air bubble and a big blob of paint on your design. And what I did is I just went in and I just filled in the holes like this. Lightly squeezing with my pink Niji pen. Now, ones that are solid like this, I actually went in and, and made it like it was an outline design. And you can play around with this, add as many as you want or as little as you want, or you don't have to do it at all. But I thought that it made the design look really neat. And you can fix things with these pens if you make a mistake too. Last step is you're going to go in with a silver striper and just highlight the middle of your nail. This takes a little bit of a steady hand, but with practice, you'll get good at it. Or get a friend to come over and do it for you. Now I'm going to do it this way because I can see a little better. So I'm just going to line it up on my nail like that. And sometimes I have to, have to turn my nail to get into the, the corners. Be careful of blobs coming down the shaft of the striper because that can happen. You get a big blob on your nail and that's not fun either. So just start at one end and let the brush brush do the work. So you see how I kind of stop there? I'm going to come in the other way and match it up just like that. Okay, that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed doing this design with me. Make sure you protect it with a good top coat. When you're putting top coat on, make sure you have lots on your brush and only go over your design once, especially when you're using black stamping polish because it will bleed if you go over it too many times and your brush is dry. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you try this design and um, it is in support of Breast Cancer Month this month for October. And we'll see you next time. Happy stamping everyone.